gonna be okay. Let me let you know something. Men always think that they've messed up with women. And usually it's not as bad as you think. I mean, just uh, make it make it. Uh, trust me, I'm a pragmatist, remember? This time I know it's bad. Hi. Hi. Can we talk? We have to talk. Let, let me go first. I have the most to say. I have the most to explain. Um, you two are gonna have to make up later. Julie, maternity's short-handed, so it's you and me riding to the rescue, girl. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a long night, huh? Uh-huh. Hey, uh, before you go, uh, Julie mentioned that... Look, I don't want to intrude, but about this problem you're having with who she is. Excuse me? About her past, lying. Well, I shouldn't say lying, but, you know, not telling you. She told something to you? About what? Her past or your problem? I, I don't have a problem. You do. You don't mind your own business. Hey, you know, she really needed someone, Scanlon. Oh, let me guess. You were there for her. Listen, it's hard enough around here as it is. Now, I understand how you feel, but, you know, cut Julie some slack. She's got you down on her, her internship. I mean, I worry about her, especially after what happened to her brother. Wait a minute. What? Oh, man. She didn't tell you? So you're telling me there's no way I can find out what happened to Serena? I know this is tough, but the important thing for you is to stay calm. Stay calm? Oh, brother. Let me, let me just tell you something, all right? Ever since Serena was old enough to understand, you know, what was going on in life, you know, I, I told her if you've got any problems or you get upset or you're, you're mad at me, you just come to me and, and we'll work it out. And she trusted that. I didn't think there was anything stronger than that. She still trusts you. Yeah, but not enough to tell me what's going on, or, or she's just too scared to even think about it. You know, here I thought everything was all right. I thought everything was was fine. And now there's this, this, this place inside of her that she won't let me reach. Well, it, it could just be a change of environment. It might, might be separation. Yeah, it might be that these people did something really, really bad to her. I'm not saying that you don't know your own daughter. I understand how upsetting and frustrating it must be to see that bruise and not be able to find out how it got there. You're damn right. Oh, I feel bad what you and Lucy are going through right now. It's, it's just that Serena's all I've got. And I, I gotta find a way to get her back. Danielle, I don't care about what you're just about to do. I don't even care about what I want. But you gotta be straight with me. Jake, please, I... You remember when you first came here? Remember when I asked you not to lie to me? Remember? Yes. Well, I meant it. I don't love you because you're pretty or nice or smart. I love you because you exist. I love you more than I know how. If you wanna leave, if that's really what you want, I'll let you go. But there's something going on here, and I wanna help. There's nothing wrong. Why can't you believe that? I just... Look, I just want out. Something isn't right. Leaving me should make you feel stronger or you're about to fall apart. Breaking up with someone isn't really easy. Realizing that you wasted all that time? You yourself said that I was this great actress. Well, I've been lying. Why can't you believe me? Because you're a terrible liar. Because I wake up next to you. Because I hear you laugh. Because I saw your face when I asked you to marry me. Because I know you say goodbye to me when I'm at the door. Jake, just stop. Just don't say anymore. Look, I don't want to hurt you. You aren't going to hurt me, baby. But whatever's doing this to you, it's got to stop right now, right here. Jake, you can't stop it. Stop what? Who? Rex? This all started when he came. He's always hanging around. He looks sick every time he calls. I'm just scared, okay? Of what? Of you, of Rex, of life. There isn't anybody, anything, anyone can do about that. It is Rex, isn't it? Yes, it is, okay? I said it. Now, you know what? I just, I just want to go. I... No. No, not like this. Listen, I'm going to take care of Rex. I'm going to take care of everything.
That's what they call shorthand. <laughs> Give me a break. Please, I could have handled it myself. <laughs> um, listen, I'm sorry to interrupt you and Frank, you know. I'm here to work, not socialize. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Frank's a really nice guy. Yeah. I know. No, I mean, he is really nice, you know, from every angle. <laughs> Believe me, Grace, I'm already sold. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised she didn't tell you. I don't know. You see, Julie and her brother were very, very close. I just assumed you knew. I do now. Look, I don't want to think I betrayed a confidence. Don't say anything, okay? I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> you know, my, uh, my beeper just went off. I gotta run. Oh, well, um... So maybe uh, I'll catch you later. <clears throat> later. I appreciate your concern for Lucy and me, but... We want to do whatever we can for Serena. Well, you know, the fact that she can't remember... That could really do some uh, bad things to her, huh? Young children will often suppress memories that are too painful. But often the memories will come back if the child feels it's safe to remember. Well, do you think that she's not remembering because maybe she's uh, trying to protect me? That's possible. Well, she knows how much you want her to have a perfect, happy life. But then something terrible happened to her. She knows you. She's comfortable around you. I've had some experience with this kind of thing. You're not quite the hothead I am. And you know the right questions to ask. There are a couple of things I've thought about trying. Well, see, then you've noticed it too before now. Well, it concerns me that she's still so upbeat, but she never volunteers anything about what happened. So when were you going to tell me? Please, stay away from Rex. I'm sorry I even said anything. There's only one thing you need to know about me, and that's that I won't let anything happen to you. I don't deserve that. I have done things. Promise me nothing will happen to Rex. No way. Jake, he has evidence in a safe deposit box. He says that... You and me can be in a lot of trouble. What kind of evidence? Well, I haven't done anything wrong. Danielle. It's just best that you don't know. Well, this is crazy. What kind of evidence could this guy have on us? I mean, we're not criminals. Are we? You shouldn't have come home. The only way out is for me to leave. The only way out of what? You leaving again is not an option. I can't take that again. If you go, I'm going with you. You can't. Rex will go straight to the police. What about your internship? Doing anything with me would ruin your life. You I are won't. my life, okay? Listen, you don't have to tell me anymore, okay? Not until we get to, like, Mexico or Canada or somewhere. Not Canada. Fine. We're out of here. We'll stop at the bank before we catch the next plane out of here. Hold on a second.